highly, highly recommend checking this out. There's an artist in it. Uh, his name is Lee Davis. Or he was in. No, he was in the Planet Lovecraft. I'm not sure if he's in the Strange Young still. But um, I loved his work. It, it, um, that it was like Giant the Homicidal Maniac meets Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It had that. It had that like SLG vibe to it. That was. That was really good. No, so um, if you get a chance, you can't get these through Diamond, you can't get them through Haven, you have to actually go to Strange Eon and get them, but they do offer comic shops. Right Brandon, now. just looking at the people on on your first issue here, uh, John Fulton, Lee Davis, you know, th these are names that still show up today in Strange Eons, I mean, is it a good working relationship with these guys? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Lee Davis, I think, probably gets the most fan mail, and uh, he was, um, he was completely unpublished before uh, Planet Lovecraft number one, and in fact, he actually ended up being a substitution when my regular story didn't run. And I just, I just love his stuff. It's so unusual. Uh, it, it looks like uh, Dr. Seuss on crack or something. It's funny, <laughs> creepy stuff, and he's a funny, creepy guy. I absolutely love him. I've looked at these, and I, I've, I've got one through four of Planet Lovecraft, and you, you were gracious enough to give me Strange Eons, and I look at them, and I can see the growth in these guys. It, it is unbelievable. And Lee, you, you brought up Lee's style. I would list Lee as more like a uh, Roman Dirt, like uh, Lenore, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac style. I mean, I think he fits into that really good. Um, some of these covers, the ones that always stand out to me that I love are the Rob Corliss covers. 